All right, Shalom, part two of the how to raise sheep, uh, starting the flock, getting an increase. Now, we see what's going on in the meat industry. It is stated that about uh, four major conglomerates control all of the meat when it comes to the poultry, the pig, the the the, the beef, uh, the chicken, all of that stuff is controlled by four conglomerates. And so this is why it's so important to be able to raise your own meat. Now, a lot of people can't do it. Um, I understand that. But uh, a lot of people also can take the initiative to come out of the cities, get some land, and begin to raise their own meat. So... What do we have here? We have my pasture. Now, this is the front pasture. And then I have another pasture in the back that I use. That's probably about a quarter of this size, but it's enough total to manage about 40 sheep. And as I told you before, uh, the inner and outer perimeter of this entire property is fenced. So even if the sheep get out of this perimeter of fencing, the outer perimeter of fence and allows them to not be able to get off the land. That is from a security perspective and as well from a, uh, you know, just raising sheep uh, and, uh, and having uh, animals. So what do you need after you've gotten your ram, you've gotten your uh, uh, lambs and they have begun to propagate? One of the biggest things you're going to need is a shelter. Now that is a... Uh, barn that they can sleep in and as you see those four pillows are there is that uh, eventually I'm going to uh, increase the size of the barn but for now it is plenty of room in order to uh, uh, maintain the flock now in addition to that you see this tree line right here that goes all the way up uh, our own property uh, through that tree line. You can't see it, but there's a fencing that's going all the way back there. But there's a substantial amount of area where if the sheep, and they do, they sleep in this tree line as well. So if they don't want to be in a barn, they don't have to be in a barn. They can sleep in the tree line. They can sleep uh, underneath one of these trees. And you can clearly see that this is uh, totally uh, 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 hedged off when it comes to trees. So I have my privacy as well. But they can sleep in there because sheep need some type of privacy. Uh, they need some type of shelter when it comes to the elements. I mean, it's been raining very uh, uh, hard today, as you see. But the sun is coming out. The sun is coming back out. Uh, but they're in their barn now. Or they're in the area over there where they can sleep in or just chill inside of uh, the shaded areas. So that's another thing that you're going to need in addition to pasture land, uh, good, clean pasture. Uh, as you see here, you see these right here? Uh, the sheep don't eat these. But at the same time, uh, you know, I have a lot of this stuff growing. Now, I'm not necessarily worried about it. I'm going to put a plan of action in to eventually get this stuff out. But I have to treat it um, with some type of uh, 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 pesticide. But I don't want to do that. It has not really affected uh, the flock at all, but at the same time, I want to get rid of it. So that's one of the things that you're going to have to take into consideration is making sure that uh, in addition that they have shelter, they have shade, um, they have a good, healthy pasture. Now, again, this is a good, healthy pasture, but I do have a lot of weeds growing. And I'll show you uh, the other pasture that I keep. And as you see here, um, in the area in the open, I'm going to allow them to run rampant and eat all of this grass by the end of this month. So I don't have to mow anymore. There's certain areas where, you know, I have nothing going on there, so I just let the grass grow. I mean, nothing is going on here. I'll get into hay again uh, at a later date, but as you see... I have a back pasture where the greenhouse is, but you see all of this grass right here? They'll be able to eat all of this as well, clearly. But you see, I don't have so much as an issue when it comes to 
uh, certain kinds of weeds growing uh, back here. But at the same time, a good clean pasture. Again, this is all fenced off in the back. Uh, and in the winter time, what I do is I just allow them to go inside the greenhouse to uh, eat all of the weeds and the grass that's growing in there. Because I mean, I've, I've, I've said it before, you know, I really have not leveraged the greenhouse like I, I need to. But, you know, the raised beds that I have has produced way more than enough food. Uh, where I'm just at an oversupply. So honestly, I haven't really used that greenhouse, but it's a good piece of infrastructure to have. So what I do in the wintertime is I allow them to just go into the greenhouse and sleep in there, you see? So that's another aspect of raising a good, healthy flock. After you secured your flock, they need good pasture. They need shelter in order to keep the elements off their head they're not designed to necessarily um no they can but it's best for them to have their own uh shelter or someplace where you know when it's snowing and sleeting you see over here as well there's a tree line over here and they can go and sleep in that tree line so even in the winter time you have uh, a lot of uh dense branches and stuff over here where you know, it keeps the, the elements off of them. It keeps the wind off of them. All down there, they're going to be able to eat up. I mean, I have just so much grass here. I'm telling you, this grass has to be at least four feet tall. I mean, it is just up to my my belly area. So the idea is that, you know, you have a good, clean pasture. You have shelter, again. Uh, and and you they have the space in order to grow because... Uh, uh, a closely defined space uh, for sheep, they're going to develop diseases. They're going to get sick. They need good, clean pasture. So uh, there we go uh, with that. Uh, the next video I'm going to talk about is uh, definitely hay and grain. What are the options for that? How often you need to feed them? Things of that nature. But until then, shalom.